Hello, it's the Seahawks fan, and we have another Go Battle League video. We got level 50 perfect Gudra for a Master League. Master League. And the time you see this video, Master Premiere is live, and well, uh, Gudra is insane. Definitely going to be incredible for open, well, for the Master Premiere, and uh, it's pretty, pretty nice in Open Master. Almost any dragon, if it's strong enough, has some play in Master League. And Thunder Punch, well, you may not be seeing Gyarados as much. It does have Draco Meteor, which can be a very fun nuke to throw. And while Dialga may be the king of dragons, I guess Zygote... I mean, Dialga does win up against... Zygote sometimes, and sometimes Zygote wins. Draco Meter is still a very nice and fun move to be using. Now, ho does not incinerate me down in time, which is kind of annoying. I, but I actually do survive long enough to reach that crunch to take them out. That's not bad, not bad. Now... No shields remaining on Dialga. We have Draco Mia and Cabo. We take them out. Let's go. Now, if you missed out on the Gudra Community Day, that was the community day, community day of the year. The only thing that probably would top it anywhere in the near future is a classic community day for Beldum. But if you did miss out on Chinese Gudras, well, in uh, come December, should have a nice recap weekend of both a Saturday and Sunday, giving all of the years, previous regular calm days, no classic community days in included, and raid Pokemon for the previous year's stuff. But Gudra, onto the battles more. Down Shield, we do have a Dragonite, which is not too bad. We already took out their Medigros, as expected, Dragonite Shields. And I'm going to survive and go on and pivot in time. And definitely had to be a little careful about giving them a free incinerate. That would have been their win condition. And thankfully, uh, ho does not have capability of being able to throw back-to-back -back moves. Otherwise, it could potentially. I mean, I just gave a free incinerate pretty much there, but I had the energy for that knockout. And I do not need to gain any more to take the win. And we have an origin pumpkin. Not too bad. A little underlevel, thankfully, for us. Go on a shield. Even if it is aqua tail, it's fine. Just going to be throwing the crunch without having to worry about them getting to another move in time to avoid taking that. Another Aqua Tail. Dragon Tail does register for the KO, and that is a nice thing to have. Earthquake Full Sun actually lands. And here we pivot into Gudra. Zygarde wins that, but that was pretty nice from them. Not shielding. Now we have a Mewtwo, perfect Mewtwo, okay, okay, okay. Now Thunder Punch is not the strongest move, but it is not too bad being able to get some super effective damage nice and cheaply up against Kyogre's. Also a decent move for ho -Oh and Lugia, not too bad. And Gujo is a very tanky dragon. Now in the Open Master... A lot better, higher stat Pokemon. Although one thing to look out for is Hisuian Gudra in the future. That's going to be phenomenal. It'll be a tank, even tankier Pokemon, I think. But it does gain the Steel Typing, which is massively improved. Draco Media against the perfect level 50 Origin Dialga. Massive damage and even surviving an Iron Head after that Dragon Breath damage. Things you love to see. And now we have Origin Palkia. Okay. 
And I mean, with the energy advantage I have, even in a even energy position, Shadow me to just, well, Mewtwo in general just paces to side strike faster than Aqua Tail. Let's see who our next foe is. Okay, nice, nice. Landorus. Landorus does run right. Unfortunately, you would rather Aqua Tail in this scenario up against the Landorus. I think Thunder Punch is slightly more ex expensive in energy than Aqua Tail. Ooh, I got the defense drop. That's lucky. A broken Landorus with the guaranteed attack dropping move. I get another defense drop from Crunchwad. That's super lucky. But we have a Origin Palkia. With the Dragon Tail. Okay, interesting. Going to be able to comfortably bring in Gudra. Spatial Rend is loaded. And they did thankfully throw it. Before another move. Gonna throw my move, and they give me Xerneas. Not too bad, not too bad. Going to soften them up so I can take them out with Psy Strike. Shout out to me too, Zyga, just absolutely so fun to use, and definitely allows a lot of flexibility with a lot of these f fun Pokemon. Like Gudra. And check out the Porygon Z video because that is also a lot of fun. With the nukes and unfortunately the Palkia was able to have enough energy in that battle. That's not annoying. Okay. Oh, perfect. Best buddy equipped Origin Palkia. That is not something you want to see. The spatial rend, okay. Oh, they have Landorus. The move is not enough to take me out. Oh, I get the defense drop. That's handy. Okay, let's see what this Gudra can do in the two shields. In a commanding position. Gonna leave with a lot of energy. Can I get the farm down? No, I cannot. Before that second debuff but here I can pivot into Mewtwo to Psycho Cut down I'm going to be able to pull shields off them because they threw ASAP Aqua Tail and they bring in Hoa which thankfully I have a healthy enough Gudra to deal with Palkia actually it's going to be a little close they did a really good job about Bringing in Hoa at the right time. Gudra, perfect IVs. I do not have a move on Mewtwo, but I survive 1 HP and a dream from the absolute perfect Dorjan Palkia. They could not have done that, use that Palkia any better. Love to see it. Now, I made a silly goose mistake letting that Dragon Clog go. But I didn't want to, yeah, actually grab the shield liches. It's okay. They wanted to make sure they had alignment. Definitely would not have been enough for a knockout. Maybe. But now we do have the whole team revealed. And Shadow Mewtwo, thankfully, is a nice, nice enough answer to that Melmetal. And with their last shield remaining, they did not want to use it immediately up against the Zygarde. Crunch is caught on Melmetal, which is, is nice for them. I'm going to let them just whittle me down. They need superpower to take me out. A couple of rock slides. Two may just be enough. But Thundershock is doing like nothing. And here, they've given me the green light to bring in Mewtwo. Their shield is, shields are down. I can... Be able to bank up to two moves back to back. And they're going to force me to throw. But I am paying attention and throw the Scythe Shrike. And now Shadow Ball from a Shadow Mewtwo is enough. 
Sunstreak may have been just shy. And I mean, seven psycho cuts for Shadow Ball is better than th potentially trying to risk two side strikes with uh, 10 turns of fast. With 20 turns instead of 14, I mean. Yeah. And now we have Kyoga. Thunder Punch is a decent chunk. They have a Tyranitar. Shadow Tyranitar, cool. Now, luckily for me, they did not think I had enough energy and I can kaboom. Now, they may have the shield advantage, but I do not have to worry about shielding up my Zygarde Complete. What are they going to go for? Iron Head, let's go. Can I grab a shield? Can I grab a shield off them? Yes, I do. And now Shadow Me too. is going to easily outpace the two charge attacks first. It doesn't get Dragon Breath down even close enough before I can reach definitely two moves. And they, uh, well, they knew I was about to reach Psy Strike before they could reach Iron Head. Beautiful. We have perfect, the first Dialga, the OG. To call a Draco Media, I, I knew they were not going to debuff themselves. This is why uh, so often Origin Dialga is just better, especially with that War of Time. They're going to pivot into their perfect Kyogre. Nice, nice, nice. And we are going to be able to over farm lots of energy. Because they need a blizzard to take me out. Nice and swiftly. That's only a surf number two. I will happily take that chip damage. They have only one shield remaining. We have a Draco Media. Do they expect us to? Kaboom! Nuking the Garatina. And Shadow Me too with a shield advantage from full health up against a half health the Alga as the last thing. That's not the recipe for them to win. Now the win condition was having me crash. But hope you enjoyed the battles. Stay tuned for a mass premiere. Battles with this uh, Gudra. Going to have a ton of mass premiere on the channel. Hopefully I could get to veteran. Definitely going to. Use teams to make a push for that. But thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.